Hello, everybody. My name is Lena, and welcome to Let's Play Doodle Date. And as well, quite often, almost as usual, I have read nothing about this game because what I like to do is to be surprised. Perhaps we're gonna just draw somebody and then date them. That's the beauty of playing the random in the games. Okay, let's dive in. Summer vacation ended, and as usual, I remained single, proud it. No summer flings, no beach parties, just me and a whole lot of TV and video games. Bro, I feel for you. Even my 18th birthday wound up being a fluke. So here I was, back at school and back to hearing about everyone else's summer exploits. Good thing it's my last year of high school. Hopefully in college I won't have to put up with this kind of crap. For now, it's just back to idle doodling. Just as I was opening my notebook, I heard a strange voice coming from inside the pages. Hey there! It was one of my old drawings. I couldn't believe it, she was talking. I can't believe it's you! We were worried sick, we thought you'd never come back. What? Come back from where? Beats me! You used to join your page. Oh, sorry. You used to join our pages all the time, and suddenly you left. No matter now, you're back. Come on in, creator. Before I could reply, I suddenly found myself being pulled into the pages of my notebook by a mysterious force. What is happening? Welcome, creator, to Doodle World. The place where all of your wonderful creations come to life, including me. Thanks for that. I enjoy existing. <laughs> Who doesn't? To demonstrate, I have brought you... I'm oh, sorry. I have brought you to one of your blank pages. What? Bring it back to the real world this instant. This is a real world, silly. Anyway, let's loosen up those wrist muscles, eh? Is she Canadian? Ask me A at the, at the very end. Start by drawing something simple, like your favorite fruit. Go ahead, try it. Okay, so now we really have to draw. I have only my mouse, I don't really have any tools to make it easier to draw. Okay, my favorite fruit, I would go with mango, but I'm not sure it would look like a mango, so let's just go with the pineapple, for example. So this is how I would draw pineapple. Oh yeah, it's looking like a pineapple, isn't it? And now just... Like some seeds or weird texture to it. Okay, I'm done. Wow, that looks delicious. Come on, you would say that no matter what I would draw. You sure know how to draw? Oh, come on, thank you. Not very lively though, is it? Well, it's a pineapple, what do you expect? Why don't we try creating a person we can talk to? Make sure it's a cute one, you never know if a drawing might have a thing for their creator. Okay... Not that I'm implying anything. My relationship with you is strictly professional. Anyway, go ahead, draw yourself up a dream date. Oh, your dream date, happy. Oh my god. Hmm. Why don't we just go with a dog, you know? A dog is always a good choice. They are lively, they are happy, loyal, you know? And they are cute, unless I'm gonna have to date the dog later on. But... Maybe, what if I drew a pineapple, you know, one more time? Would the game see that it's not entirely, uh, well, something alive? So here we got the dog. Oh my god, the paw. Yeah, let's just pretend it's not happening. Yeah, it looks kind of weird. But oh my god, look at this dog. Isn't that cute? Let's just make it a bit like a Snoopy or something. Oh. And maybe just a bit of. 
dark spots on his tail. Why not? Looks perfect. Can I erase a bit? And I... Oh, I can. Okay, so... If I will have to date somebody, I guess I'm gonna be dating a dog in this game. Dream, dream date sad. Oh, okay, so we are drawing the dog being sad now. Of course, the ears are not up anymore. Because it's a sad dog, you know. And also, it's gonna be sitting, you know, that's how I'm drawing a sitting dog. I don't know how it looks, but... Uh, I have very poor drawing skills, sorry for that. And there's about to be a second... Oh my god, I, I started a bit too low and now there won't be enough space for the tail, damn it. Okay, but this is our sad, sad dog. Joy of dream date shy. Oh my god, I could have like go on. Can we start over and don't do the door, but just uh, something else? Okay, we're just gonna go with the head maybe. Um, what? Why was I thinking it's a great idea to be original and try to, you know, make something else out of like a person, human face? Yeah, yeah, sure, let's go with a dog, it's gonna be fun. I don't know how to make the dog shy. Okay, let's say this is how the, the, the shy dog looks like. Small eyes. And that's the rest of the body, of the dog. Okay. Sultry. Ah. Again, let's just go on with the eyes. Just. the kind of uneasy look to it. I don't know if it's sultry enough. Yeah, I could have gone like just with the face from the very beginning, but... Angry. Um, oh my god, my angry is gonna look almost the same. Why don't we just add some teeth instead? <laughs> And, you know, more angry eyebrows, let's say. Yeah, this is how the angry dog looks like. Oh, creator, that is simply stunning! Okay, if you say so. Well, what are you waiting for? I'll let you two get, uh, I will let you two get to know each other a little better. Sketchy. Hello! <laughs> Oh, he looks cute. I don't know, no. No, I do not regret drawing a dog, you know. Hi. Thanks for making me. You're welcome. I don't have much choice. Do you know how I can leave this place? You want to leave? So soon after making me? Oh, you hate me, don't you? Of course not. I don't hate you at all. I just need to get, my, to get back to my own world. I don't even know how I got here. I see, well, I should just have tons of dates lined up in the real world, don't you? I mean, no, I don't see how that's relevant to the topic. Because if you stay, you might have one date lined up right now. Why? I, I couldn't believe it. My drawing wanted to date me? I've never been with someone so beautiful before. <laughs> oh yeah, just... That's beautiful. Epitome of beautiful. Hey, snaps. I up here, eyes up here. I'm sorry, I was just looking at your wonderful nose instead of your eyes. And now it's happy. Look at the happy tail wagging. Oh, I could have added like some squirmy lies all over it. Okay, so what will it be, big chef? Should I stay? Yes, come on with the doll, yeah. I mean, I suppose I could stay here a bit longer, especially if it means you and I could, you know, yes, hang out. Just say it, you weirdo. Date. Bingo, yes. Oh my god, and now I feel weird. I'm going to date a dog. I'm... Well, 
There are people who are into this kind of stuff, I'm not one of them. I just thought I can just make a doggo pal and now it's getting awkward. But okay, I would love to go on a date. So how does dating work in this world exactly? Here, let me show you. Here we are. Oh, uh, where are we exactly? Up to a fancy restaurant, of course. I want our first date to be classy. You are a dog, come on. I'm gonna just draw a trash can and some bones and I'm gonna be happy. It looks exactly like where you like where we were before, just a blank page. That's because you haven't drawn anything silly. Use your imagination. Now go on, draw up <laughs> draw us up a waiter, okay. Uh, what about if a uh, banana was a waiter? I mean, I'm already dating a dog, it wouldn't hurt if a waiter would be something weird. Okay, let's just... How do, you, how do you draw a waiter? Okay, what about a uh, broccoli will be a waiter? I mean, don't look any logic in what I'm doing here. I'm dating a dog who is drawn, so please don't judge me. I know. So that's a broccoli stalk. And it's gonna wear a small apron. And have a small stalk here to carry the plate, perhaps. Yeah, that's that's okay, so I repeat it's not a tree, it's a broccoli stalk. Who is going to be a waiter because maybe like a small bow tie, you know, here? make it oh, he, oh my god now he looks so fancy yes so broccoli waiter and dog for a date well hello there good looking where can i catch for you what can i get for you good looking i said draw some waiter on the flirt <laughs> come on i drew a broccoli wearing an apron are you serious <laughs> You just can't help but you're beautiful people who like you, huh? Yeah, that's that's exactly what I am. No, I didn't mean to, I swear. <laughs> Actually, I'm telling the truth. Uh-huh, sure. Just like you didn't mean to make me gorgeous. Go on then, tell your accidentally, remarkably attractive waiter exactly what it is they can get for you. Ah, uh, favorite fruit? We would like to... Well, why don't we go with the pineapple? Uh, my favorite fruit, please. Oh yes, of course. Nothing but the fine cuisine for you. I hear it's quite a mouthful. Nice move. I really feel like my concerns were addressed. Oh, come on. You said me. To, you said to order something. Exactly. Don't you understand subtext? Never mind. You know what? This whole thing was a bad idea. I jumped into this too soon. I should have known better. I'm sorry, I guess I don't know what I'm doing. I've never gone on a date with someone before. I mean, I haven't either, having only recently come into existence about five minutes ago. But I know better than to flirt with, <laughs> with the waiter on the first date, at least. I didn't flirt with the waiter, they just came into existence flirting. I don't know yet how, to, how the creation process works. Fine, I suppose we can try starting over. We talked throughout the evening about whatever we could. Small talk about the non-existent weather, favorite foods, etc. It wasn't much, but I could tell we were starting to bond. Finally, the night came to an end and we parted ways. I drew myself an up an apartment to stay the night in and I slept like a baby in the comfiest best bed I could imagine. Literally, I think I could get used to this place. I mean, doesn't really look that comfortable and the apartment, come on, it's like two walls, badly drawn window and pretty ugly picture. But whatever suits you. Good morning, sunshine. How was your first day in the little world? Say no more, I can tell you by your tired expression that it went fantastic. Um, what time is it? How did you get in here? It's time to get up, sleepyhead. And more importantly, time for another lovely outing with your dream date. Well, why so early? Because it's never too early to spend time with the love of your life. 
how are you so sure? Because you created them as such, silly. I mean, I created you too, right? I can't say I'm sure what are you getting at. Moving on. I have arranged for you and your dream date to meet at Doodle Park within the hour. I'll draw yourself up something nice to wear and let's get going. Draw nice clothes to wear. You know, I was thinking about getting like a new pair of this kind of Doc Martin shoes because they're like great for autumn, winter, maybe even for spring sometimes, depending on the weather and great for hiking, stomping on things and yeah, let's just go on with something that would look like a pair of Doc Martens shoes, you know I'm not sure if you can really it looks like a clown shoes, I know but let's just say they're like really awesome shoes I have no idea how to draw shoes I cannot draw anything to be honest but oh, it's getting worse and worse but you know on the other hand why drawing shoes well because I am dating a dog and they dogs like to chew on things you know so they could compliment on my boots saying that it would be something nice to chew on Wow! <laughs> I know, Claire. <laughs> the... what? Those look like shit. You're definitely not wearing those. Tell you what, just keep what you're wearing already. F huh? Come on, I was trying really hard to please my dream date. It was smelly shoes, for God's sake. Okay, fashion isn't your strongest suit. Hmm. Well, it is not, like, I have to admit. And would you look at the time? We've got only 45 minutes to get you to your date. I mean, how far is it? Like, next page or whatever. Let's get a move on. Here we are. Have fun, you too. And it looks like the park is another blank page. Suppose I shouldn't be too surprised. Hey there! Did somebody wake up on the wrong side of the bed? No, no, sorry. Still getting used to everything being a blank slate here. I actually haven't slept better in years. I uh, had fun with you last night. It actually it looks kind of shy. I did well on that drawing. Yeah, me too. And it looks happy, yeah. I can draw a happy dog and a shy dog, as you can see. So, what do you want to do? Oh, go for a walk, come on. I know you would love to do this as well. I suppose we could go on a walk, view the um natural beauty of this place. That sounds nice. We walked in silence for a long while, aimlessly stepping through pages, occasionally admiring stray <laughs> flying scribbles that whizzed by overhead. Finally, I broke the tension. So, what sort of things have you been doing lately? I mean, I know you're a recent drawing, but do you have any hobbies? Anything you like? Dislike? Well, since last night I decided to simply explore, I find I like walking along the lines of the paper and for some reason I've been craving fruit ever since my inception. But more than anything, I just couldn't stop thinking about you. Do you think something is wrong with me? Is my existence just to exhibit some fantasy of yours? And is that hollow to begin with? That's um... That's heavy. On the other hand, you're really cute. It's guess you reach out to hold my hand. With what? <laughs> With what? They reach out his paw or tail or... And they smile at me as they clasp them. Okay. Do you think I'm cute? You are more than cute. You are, you are so adorable. Oh, come on. I could pet you and rub your belly all day long. I think you're far more than cute. I think you're beautiful. Gorgeous even. You are by far the most amazing person I have ever laid eyes on. Sketch was silent as he looked at me in the way I'd never seen before. Suddenly, before I could react, Sketchy had grabbed me and pressed their graphite mouth against mine. Smooch. 
Air. Air. Kiss me. Don't. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna imagine he's just like licking my face. And I don't know why I tried to draw sultry like that, but I had no idea how to do it differently. I don't know. I was taken back and simply held their body against mine. Finally, the kiss was laid to rest after what I felt like a blissful eternity. Only wish it can be last forever. Ahem. <laughs> I'd better get going. Oh, what's the rush? This office is like too fast. I think I just need to need to lie down for a bit. Oh, I see. Don't feel bad. I, I'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully more than that. Sketchy let go of my hand and walked away. I could still feel their phantom kiss, which kept my spirit out as I made my way back to my apartment. I think I'm really starting to like this place. Okay, I'm just gonna have to figure out how not to kiss my dog anymore and I hope I hope the author of the game did not foresee well ending up in bed together or something like that. I mean sleeping next to a dog must be really nice, but just sleeping, you know? Nothing else. I had just arrived back to my apartment when suddenly I heard a familiar voice come from my bedroom. Hello again. Go! You scare me half to death. Why are you in my bedroom? To ask you how your day went, of course. To went. Great, actually. Why are you so invested? I, I just want to see you happy, that's all. I'm, I'm very interested in knowing if you are getting the love you deserve, creator. Claire, be honest with me. Do you... Do you have feelings for me? What? No, no, of course not. I'm simply interested in your well-being, creator. I want you to find your true love. And the true love is obviously your dream date, Sketchy. After all, you drew them that way. You do love Sketchy, don't you? But what if I love you? No, no. I don't know you, you're just a random doodle, but Sketchy... Oh. That's the dog of my life. You're right. I do. At least I think I do. I don't know what I feel. Relationships are so new to me. Well, I'm sure I'll figure it out sooner or later, creator. Just give sketch time. True love blossoms over time. I'll leave it to your thoughts, creator. I wish you the best of luck in your love endeavors. i always be around to support them. I'm sorry if I made things strange for you. It's okay. Have a good night, Claire. Good night. The next morning I felt refreshed. I didn't know what it was exactly, but something about the last night felt so affirming. My feelings for Sketch were real, and I was no more excited than ever to see them again. I mean... Okay, okay, let's stop for a moment. So, let's say we didn't draw the dog, but we drew uh, really a person. Can you really fall in love with somebody who has like no personality on whatsoever? Come on! I know it's just a game, and and it's just a game about drawings that do not exist. But still, <laughs> come on. Suddenly, I knock on the door. Hello, anyone home? It was sketchy. Over so soon. I checked the time. It was noon. Suppose I must have slept in. How do you check the time? Is there? Do you actually measure time in this world? Okay. Never mind. Frantically, I hopped into my pants, fiddling with the zipper. Be there in a minute! As I got the zipper up, I tripped over the doodle carpet and fell to the floor with help. Tee hee! A distinct tee hee came from the doorway. Is it Michael Jackson? I blushed. Finally, I got up and was able to answer the door. Hi, having trouble there? Oh, what do you mean? some issues. Huh, I yeah. Uh, just having some issues getting put together, I sort of just woke up. Hee <laughs> hee! I see. Well, I don't sleep, so I guess I know what it must be like. Trust me, you're not missing out on much. Just um, morning grogginess. Anyway, 
Well, afternoon. So, um, I was wondering what you want to do today. I was thinking maybe we could see a movie. Come on, do I have to like draw 30 frames per second and then just create frame by frame to make a movie and animation? Come on, it's paper view. Is that a thing here? Oh, right. I guess it's something for me to draw, right? I mean, I've never seen one before. I'm sure you can come up with something great. Oh, come on, I'm not drawing you frame by frame animation. No way, just. No, 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 no. no. Oh, sure, I guess I've always wanted to make a movie. Alright then, let's go. Draw a movie, come on. Oh, that's gonna be a movie about walking carrots. You know, we had like a broccoli waiter or whatever. So it's gonna be like carrots. And their friend, the loyal sidekick, Cool Onion. Because why not? It's gonna wear sunglasses. Because it's a cool onion. They have to face their great enemy. The oh my god, what could be? Oh my god, yes, I know. A kitchen knife. I know it doesn't look like a knife. Wait a second, just let me. Let me try one more time. Okay, what if I do it the other way? Like one of the knives I have in my drawer. gonna be a very bad kitchen knife that would like to cut all the vegetables and he's so bad that he's even smoking a cigarette you know because smoking is bad children do not smoke so that's the movie we're gonna see like a carrot and their friend onion trying you know to fight the, the evil knife Oh, this list is gonna be good. From the creator themselves comes the greatest motion picture ever drawn to screen. Gotcha! Huh? I didn't write that. Shh! The movie is starting. Movie sounds. <laughs> Whoa! But I must say, like, the music really goes well with what is going on on the screen. The movie sounds continue. Haha, <laughs> what a card. No, don't do it! Come on, carrot. You can do better than this. Movie sound. Oh, whoa, this is that coming. Yeah, that's the moment when you know that the kitchen knife almost got there, but they managed to escape through the, you know, the help of the plate and fork. Because, you know, you would think that forks and spoons would be more friends with the knife, but there was an exception to their, this rule. Mind blown. The movie finally ended, and as the credits rolled, we realized we had been holding hands the whole time. We pulled away suddenly, whilst looking at each other. <laughs> Sorry. Whoa, that was some Academy Award material right there. Um, yeah? Of course. I know, it was great. Actually, yeah, it's like one of my biggest achievements in my life. Thank you. Thank you for acknowledging that. I can't believe you made that. Um, neither can I. So, what did you think? What was your favorite part? The action, come on, like... I like the part where they narrowly escaped the explosion. Oh yeah, yeah. The explosion in the kitchen, yeah. Whoa, that's my favorite part too. I like movies, you must be lucky to be able to see them so often in your world. Yeah, but... I feel even like you're being here. <laughs> Come on. Oh, why is that? Because I'm here with you. 
catchy blush and then she closer, holding my hands in theirs. I just imagine they like was giving the paw you know, to his hand or something. Is that so? All these faces. It's like the worst face I... Never mind. Yeah. Sketch suddenly gave me a small peck on the cheek before pulling away. Well, good. The dates continued on throughout the coming weeks. More movies, more dinners, etc. Each time we grew a little closer. As the weeks turned into months, I came to realize that I didn't want to leave this place. There was no future I could imagine that I didn't involve Sketchy. I had to let Sketchy know how I felt. Don't do this. Don't. Isn't it beautiful today? Anywhere is beautiful, so long as you are there. Oh, stop it. So, why did you want to come here today? We can do this, I thought to myself, as I tried to dislodge the frog in my throat. Ahem, <coughs> I... Mm, sketchy, I... I love you. Oh! More than love you, in fact, I... I've been thinking about this for a while and... I don't think I ever want you out of my life. I'm willing to stay here forever, Sketchy, if... If... Go on. Sketchy. Will you marry me? And now it got weird again. Engagement ring. Okay. I know exactly what I want to draw. That's like the base for the ring, right? Just like the... And that's where the normally the diamond would go, but it's a ring for the dog, so it's like the, the bone. <laughs> Looks so bad. Oh my! That, that's a big ring. A very big, very pretty ring. I know what you like. I don't know what to say. Yes? My heart began to tremble. I mean, if you, um... Are you? Oh heck, why not? Yes! Yes, I will! I slid the ring Well, Sketchy doesn't have fingers, hello! Maybe on the... Well, maybe it was big enough to put it on the tail, I don't know. I slid the ring on Sketchy's tail and we embraced. I couldn't believe it. This was real. I was getting married. No, you're not. I'm telling you, you're not getting married to a dog. I mean, maybe it's not real world, but I'm pretty sure it's still illegal and it's just so wrong on so many levels. The day had come. I was sweating like a maniac in my nervously doodled tuxedo, which was starting to smear. <laughs> Shit! Quickly, I raised the smeared lines and hastily drew them back on. You can do this. You have prepared for this day. Just relax. No, no, no! Move it over there! My dear, everything okay? Yes, no, I don't know. Move it over there, I said there, not there. Yes, there. God damn, these decorators. Anyway, yes, yes, everything's fine. I'm just a little nervous, is all. It's okay, I have to. The guests are arriving in two minutes and the cake still isn't here. Everything's going to be okay, dear. I know, I know, just. I want our day to be perfect, you know? It will be. Because you and I will be married by the end of it. Aww. I leaned over and kissed. I leaned over and I patted Sketchy on his head because he's so cute. Now, go put yourself together. I greet our guests and they'll meet you under the archway. Okay, thank you. See you there. I could see our first guest arriving in the distance. I walked over to greet them, only to find a face I hadn't seen in a long time. Hey! Oh, hey, long time no see. Yeah, figured I'd leave you two lovebirds alone for a while. I mean, that's a long while. Yeah. I mean, I'm glad you came. Yeah, well, I felt like I had to. There's... There's something I need you to know before we get married. What you asked me all these months ago, I know I never gave a straight answer, but I have always had feelings for you, right from the start. That's, that's why I brought you here to begin with. 
when you drew me all these years ago, idly doodling while staring at your teacher, I felt a special bond with you. Ever since I knew I had to bring you here, so I could tell you how I felt. Oh, I see. So, if I may ask, why did you have me draw sketch then? Why encourage me to date someone else? I, I, I'm not sure. I suppose that when I asked you to draw your dream date, some part of me was hoping that that you dreamed me. That maybe, just maybe, you'd felt our bond all this time too. But when you're just sketchy, I, I couldn't bear to try and take you away from the newfound love you had created for yourself. I guess what I'm trying to say is, I love you. Well, that's sweet, that. That's sweet. Don't just, don't say anything back. My heart can take it either way. I'm not here to crush a wedding. That's, that's not who I am. I just need to be honest with you. This is just something I had to do for myself. Now, go marry the love of your life. Claire. With that, Claire was gone. Lost in the sea of incoming scribbles, symbols and marching notes, all who had a right for the wedding. It's time. <laughs> oh my god, and the waiter is the priest as well. <laughs> oh, no. So that's perfect. And I don't know, that was supposed to be the plate, but broccoli. Just like. That's the wedding I ever dreamt of, you know. Be wed by a broccoli in an apron and a bow tie. That's the dream. Never stop dreaming, guys. Never stop dreaming. It can, it can come true. Dreams do come true, guys. Ah, so, do you, most shapely and handsome creator, take sketchy as your lawful drawing for life? To have and to hold from this day forward. For better or for worse, for richer or the poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and cherish until death do you apart? Oh, I have like no other choice. I guess I do. I do. What about sketchy? And do you sketchy take your creator as your lawful creator for life? To have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse? For richer or for poorer, in sickness and health, to love and cherish until death do you apart. I, I do. Then, of the power vested, the, I'm sorry, of the power vested in me and my culinary and table serving knowledge, I now pronounce you spouse and spouse. <laughs> I like the political correctness here, not like husband and wife, but spouse and spouse. And since I'm actually marrying a dog, yeah. And kiss each other. Go nuts. I held Sketchy by the waist and rubbed his belly passionately. The scribbles cheered widely as unconvolved were on the pages. After the ceremony, I carried my newfound partner into the bedroom. Oh my god, no. That's the moment I have to have sex with dog. Come on, no. That's not what I was going for in this game. I carried my new phone pump into the bedroom of my newly drawn house. So, shall we consummate our union? Can we just click no? I suppose so. What do you mean? I don't know. I've never done anything like this before. I mean, neither have I. I don't know, something feels wrong about it. Oh my god, yes, exactly, you are a dog, I am a human, that's what, that's the thing that is wrong with it. <laughs> wrong? What could be wrong about it? We love each other, we're married, what more could we have? Um, shared genotype, shared species maybe, I don't know. Just, like, first idea out of my head, you know? It just, I don't know. Babe, can I ask you something? Of course, if we don't tonight, will you be upset? Oh, I would be relieved. I mean, of course not. I, lo I love you after all. If you really feel strongly about not doing it tonight, then yeah, I guess that's fine. You seem kind of upset already. No, 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 not at all. I'm just, 
surprised. It's all. I would think you would have wanted this too. I do want it, just not right now. It doesn't feel right yet. Could you at least tell me why? Because I am a dog. I just want you to trust me on this. I'd rather not talk about it. Well, can't you see? It's like something's wrong here. Okay, okay. That's that's fine then. I love you. I love you too. Phew. Dodge the bullet here. I don't have to have sex with dog. That's great. Months went by and married life went on as to be expected. With neither of us having or needing jobs, or with everything being at the tip of our fingers, we just spent our days in the house. We'd while away the hours of every day eating, talking, and watching reruns of own movies on the Doodle Vision channel, even whipped up some internet and video games to pass the time. But that was just it. Passing the time. Every night we would try again to consummate our union, and every night it didn't happen. I don't like to consider myself superficial or sexually driven, but I must admit, it started getting to me. Was I just not cut out for married life? Not with a dog, you're not. Hey dear, figure out what we are going to do for dinner tonight? Um, no, I haven't thought of that yet. Well, would you think of something soon? I'm getting kinda hungry. I mean, theoretically. I don't need to eat as I don't have a digestive tract, but some food would sure be nice. I don't suppose you could whip something up. Excuse me? You know, maybe I don't have to make us something every night. Well, I'm not the one who can magically draw us meals. I mean, does cooking not exist here? Anything you want exists here, that's the point. So if I want you to make dinner, you can? Okay, not having this attitude you got here, you need a minute because I can give you a few days on your own, is that what you want? I want you to contribute to Little Home and every once in a while. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, I'm not contributing, I'm not spending every day of my existence with you, talking about you, watching the things you make, this whole world is about you. I mean, I suppose. Yeah, you ever stop to think maybe I don't like, that I don't have a background, wants and desires, no history or taste to call my own? All I am is something meant to physically suit you. No desires, no wants? Well, you should desire to never have sex every night. Uh, so we are going there, huh? What? Our lives together aren't good enough if you can get off on me? Is that what I am to you? Someone to fool around with? No, but it wouldn't kill you to try, would it? Maybe, just maybe, if you stop to consider anyone but yourself for a moment, you'd realize why that is. Would you just tell me? I'm not trying to push anything on you, I just want to know what's wrong. You want to know what's wrong? Me. Nothing about me is real, and nothing about me is mine. You've been around since the day I've existed, and everything I've done has revolved around you in one way or another. And actually, in some of the drawings, you don't even have the, the rest of your body suit. So. Except for one thing, one thing I have to call my own, the body you gave to me. And there's one, and that's one thing, I don't know if I'm willing to give up. I've never thought about it like that. Yeah, saying it out loud for the first time kind of helps me see what what it is I really want in life. Look, I don't. I think I've realized something. This whole relationship, this whole spontaneous event we've gone through together, it's been fun. But I'm realizing now that I need more than fun in my life. I need to... I need to do something for myself. I need to find out who I am. What are you talking about, babe? I know it's never a good time to say it, but babe, I want a divorce. Fair enough. From that day on, Sketchy's mind was set. Although many discussions, arguments and repeated pleadings followed, I was never able to change Sketchy's mind. Sketchy moved out soon after, and in the month that followed, I soon found myself in the dual law firm. 
so you have divorces but you can't cook and I love the fact that waiter is is doing everything every job in this world perfect well everything appears to be in order here your ex didn't ask for much in the agreement so the paper was paperwork was very simple this is just a simple statement saying you agree to the divorce living with 100 percent of your current assets with the exception of your ownership over your ex as a physical drawing should you return to the real world you are not to disturb or alter this drawing in any way sound good gorgeous yeah sounds good all right well i just need you to sign here then and the divorce will be final Okay, sketchy is here and I am a couple. Alright, it looks like you're all official. My assistant will be sending you our bill shortly. Bill, come on, I drew you. I can erase you. Well, actually, you can send me the bill, I can erase the bill, so whatever. I could just draw more money. What? What am I worrying about? I returned to our house, now empty. A box sat on our table with a note. I want you to have this back. I couldn't bear to give it. I hope you will eventually be able to give this to someone else you can be happy with. Sincerely, sketchy. The ring. <sighs> knock, knock, knock. There was a knock at the door. Come on, Claire, not now. Oh, it's you, favorite fruit. I'm so happy you came. I know it's been a long time, but I can't stand to be away from you any longer, my love. When you ordered me at the restaurant, <laughs> when you ordered me at the restaurant, I was held back, longing and waiting to be in your loving mouth. But then I realized nothing. I don't just want to be in your mouth. I want to be in your heart forever. And what do you say? Well, will you give me a chance? <laughs> the chance to truly know what it means to love someone? You call me your favorite, but to me, you're my destiny. I know it's all happening fast, but I've got to take a chance to snag my soulmate while they're single again. I won't let you sleep through again this time. Um, I... I'd like that? Are you... Do you want to date a pineapple? Okay, I like that very much. So... That was... That was something. That was really something. I have been just dating my own dog who refused to have sex with me, which was great. But then my dog decided to divorce me, which was not that great. But luckily... My favorite fruit just came over just to comfort me in this difficult time that you always experience when you get a divorce with your dog. So. Okay guys, so I think that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Well, I know I did. So if you don't mind, you can click the subscribe button and like this video. And I hope I can see you in the next one. So take care. Bye bye.